Hello and welcome back and if you've come to this video you've chances are it's because you've heard about this this is the Synology DS920 plus it was released coming very close to three years ago and arguably it was one of the most popular NASes that Synology have ever released that said when a lot of you did hear about the DS923 that got released at the end of 2022 a number of you weren't exactly bowled over by it there was the 10 GB upgrade ability which was fantastic the ECC memory and a CPU that although it doesn't have integrated graphics is still quite the little transfer monster there in terms of performance with some virtual threads but that still didn't win a lot of you over and after that device was first revealed and eventually when it's gone out for sale for the better part of four to five months now a lot of you have been wondering can you still get hold of a ds920 plus and indeed if you head over to google shopping here you can sort of get hold of one some of them new a lot of them second hand and that price point is pretty frightening now this isn't news if you came to this video thinking that was the contents of it i get why you might be bad but that's not the reason I've made today's video. Yes, you can still get hold of the 920 Plus, and yes, you can get it second hand and new in a number of retail outlets, but the price is quite inflated. However, did you know Synology is starting to roll out a refurbished section? on its store now we've talked about this before about synology and sustainability in other videos and we've seen a lot of the time them really stick with hardware for a great deal of time and get the most kind of return on investment out of them but this is the first time i've seen the brand talking about refurbished products in a retail outlet now this isn't just some knockabout page here this is an official page it's live now and indeed you can head down here to the uh, synology uh, certified refurbished area down the bottom these uh, links will be uh, linked below in the description and if you head over there you can find out a little bit more about this refurbished area i've gone for a way back machine this page is you know a mite older and not only uh, is this refurbishment being conducted in-house at synology with replacement or repair of parts but on top of that they're honoring the original warranties that is if you get one of these refurbished models it looks like if it was a two or three year warranty box you're going to get your two or three year warranty along with that 30 day return policy there now I think it's a very notable point that Synology aren't just reusing the original manufacturer's page that they created for this product. They've gone ahead and, of course, they're reusing a lot of those assets that have been modified to talk about some of the new products and features of DSM 7.1 and 7.2, but they've very clearly drawn a line here between the existing DS920 and that of this DS920 refurbished model. We've gone through some of the specs. Everything's exactly the same in terms of the support and stuff like that. It's just it's clearly been given a different identifier there. Now, I went into the uh, uh, knowledge center from Synology and started looking for the word refurb or refurbishment or any of those sort of terms. Although the word refurb only came up with the DS920, if we look up the word refurbished, and maybe I shouldn't have my caps lock on, you find that there's a few pages there, but down here we've got the DS218 Play. Now when we went to that page, what we found is a work in progress page here. So clearly this is something that I've stumbled across that is not quite completed in terms of how it's going to be rolled out there. So I'm sure someone at Synology is probably going to hate me right now. But it is nice to see that we're starting to see some of these older generation devices still remain on sale even though it looks like they're almost certainly going to be through Synology's own outlet there. I've, you know, you might see some of these refurb goods making their way over uh, to, you know, partnered e-shops, but I think it's more likely, given Synology has been doing a lot of work on this uh, official Synology store here, to buy products directly from them, that these are the sort of solutions that, you know, for the sake of the profit margin, will probably remain on sale on this site. But again, I've got no confirmation on that there. Um, I will say when it comes to the 920 there are going to be different perspectives on this device being available for an official Synology outlet as a refurb and again I think a lot of users are going to fall down on either side of the seesaw. One there's going to be people that go do you know what that's great for sustainability that's a load of stuff that might have ended up in landfill um, it is you know hardware that otherwise would have gone to waste it's them doubling down on that commitment to lowering wastage there and you know, maintaining sustainability of their products and their ecosystem system but there will be other users that hear that and go cash grab cash grab cash grab and thinking this is just another way to make money ultimately isn't it okay to be kind of both 
I mean, I'm not really going to be against this. The idea that there are older generation devices that are indeed popular, like the DS920, still being available, it can actually be both for profit and for sustainability. Surely the very best sustainability is when it is both. So I'm not anti this at all all i mean i wish i knew more about quantity numbers and when this will roll out because it doesn't feel like it's going to be especially soon but it's going to be relatively soon and no doubt there's an article in the description uh, that myself and eddie have put together that will detail everything we know and we will update over time now if we go have a look at that synology store it's worth highlighting that as it stands there are a few caveats so for example if you go to the faq section i hate seagulls man alive i hate seagulls you can find out more about the regions that are covered in certain areas and of course this is the en uk store which i think will also affect availability of products in different regions given where some of these refurbished uh, devices may reside case in point have a look here when we go into the us outlet of this the details surrounding the faq there do change so this is certainly something that's going to be running in different regions but within each of those in individual regions i think it will affect stock such as if we go to the german store here this is where on the german store that ds920 refurb model is being listed there and we can go ahead and head over to their official store there click the shop now banner we have to select the region so if we go for germany there because it's within that eu region we can see that that unit is unavailable now that whether that is because it's sold so quick that no one got hold of it or this is still being lined up to be listed as an available refurb model it's hard to say right now but it's still at the very least it all indicates that we will see if there are ds920 units out there in synology's possession be they uh, for spare or repair or as actual units floating around this may be one of the ways in which we will continue to see some of the older generation devices much like that ds920 rolled out as it stands when you go to the synology store the number of peripherals and devices that are available is somewhat limited of course again it will depend quite heavily on the region you are visiting such as again if we go into that de1 there and have a look at their search parameters things do change arguably if something is available to be purchased on their store you will see the word buy listed in the corner if it doesn't have the word buy you won't see it listed there not all of these are refurbs so for example if we head over to that Synology store we start looking at different uh, products and solutions go in there what we see when we go into a product is the buy option suddenly appear in a way that it didn't list before so if it doesn't have the word buy you're not getting hold of it but this has been my video today on a recent discovery of the uh, refurbished ds920s floating their way out there what this means for other solutions and indeed synology readdressing the subject of sustainability and of course what solutions they're putting out there for their end user base what do you guys think do you think this is a good thing or a bad thing i think it is a good thing but maybe you'll disagree with me let me know in the comments other than that i'll keep an eye on this hope you guys have a fantastic week and i'll see you next time